Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the brand new 6-minute Pokemon Legends Arceus Overview trailer that was released last night by Nintendo Japan. In it, we got a ton of brand new information and a ton of new looks at some features we already knew about in Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're going to go through all of it here, so let's jump right into things. Now, before we go into some specific details that we saw in the Legends Arceus overview trailer last night, I want to hit on a couple bigger points, things that you can notice throughout the entire trailer and that I think are really obvious as we've been getting closer and closer to the release. The first of this is the game is so much smoother than it was when we first saw it or even when we saw the big blowout for it over the summer. It runs at a crisp frame rate. It seems to run really well in terms of Pokemon animations in the overworld. The transitional sequences from when you're just exploring the overworld into battle are much are, are much more seamless than they looked before. Another thing that you can notice about the entire trailer is that the world and the environment looks a lot crisper. The different environments look different, and that's because of the lighting and the saturation that they're using on these environments really separates them and differentiates them in a really good way. When you're in a snowy environment, the hues and the colors are more blues. The icy colors. When you're in a more tropical quote unquote environment for the Hisui region, you're going to see a lot of reds. It really mixes well with the sunset and the dynamic lighting does a really good job holding all of this together. Another thing that they've done really well is in the villages and in the town areas where you can see collections of people, they've done a good job differentiating the people. There's a bunch of adults that you can see, people who are older, who are, you know, five foot, six foot, some lawler, taller people, but they've also added kids. There's a bunch of children that you can see in the trailer and they kind of break up the look of the towns and really differentiate the people, which I think is really good. Another thing that we saw is that the customization options are very solid. There were a ton of different hairstyles and hair colors that we could see the player character changing into. And we also saw a lot of the interactions between the player character and a lot of the NPCs that are main components of the story. We saw the interior of some of the houses as well, and they're just as well designed as the village itself's exterior is. Overall, it just looks like it's coming together in a very polished way. One of the things that I keep noticing in these trailers, and it's not exactly translating to some of the feedback I'm seeing on social media and in the comments section, is just how the game looks. If you were to go off of the original Pokemon Legends Arceus trailer, the one we got almost a year now in February of 2021, it looks rough. The art style doesn't look that polished. Now, I think this game looks gorgeous. I think this game looks really good. If you're coming into Legends Arceus and you were expecting it to look like an Xbox Series X game, I don't, or a PS5 game for that matter, I don't know what you were expecting. This looks really good for a Pokemon game. I've seen a lot of comparisons, of course, because of its open air nature. A lot of comparisons to Breath of the Wild, and Breath of the Wild still looks better as a game. It, it just graphically is better. I think the art style is better in Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is my second favorite game of all time. I mean, I could wax poetically about that for double the length of this video. But Legends Arceus looks good too. Legends Arceus is no slouch. I don't think the art style looks bland. I don't think it looks boring. I think it looks really inspired and I really like the look that they're going for. The grassy environments look really cool to explore. The mountainous areas look like they're gonna be a challenge if you don't have rideable Pokemon. There's a lot of really good stuff here. Some of the camping features look like they're really actualized. You can send out a ton of different Pokemon and they really fit into the world they're around. It again, looks really seamless. And that's one of the biggest things that we've seen from this trailer is that the seamless transition between different pieces of the game are very well done. Battles, camp, going into towns, going into different areas, the transition in boss battles with some of the alpha Pokemon, the angry Pokemon that are attacking the trainer, uh, the trainer character. All of it fits the world. The world feels like one cohesive unit. And it's one of the problems that Pokemon has had over the years because you've transitioned from battle scenes and battle backgrounds to the overworld. The overworld doesn't necessarily translate to what the game looks like in cutscenes. We've had this issue with Pokemon games because of what they are. This game, everything looks like it takes place in the exact same world. The Hisui region is a cohesive unit. And that is something that I think 
we should not overlook. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel now, of course. Subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn on the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Another piece to this is we got to hear a bunch of music from Legends Arceus. There were a couple TV spots, uh, things that are gonna be used as TV advertising that also got uploaded onto the Nintendo Japan YouTube channel. A bunch of 30 second clips. They showed us some different different music tracks in each of those that weren't even in the full six minute overview. And this game sounds incredible. It sounds just a joy to listen to. Some of the ambient environmental nature tracks that we can assume we're hearing in some of these trailers because we don't have names and specified reasons for where they are or why they exist just yet. They sound incredible. The, the remixed battle theme that we got to hear as well in this six minute overview trailer also sounds incredible. The town theme sounds really good. This this soundtrack is going to be a highlight of Legends Arceus. Pokemon soundtracks as a whole are always good, but we've gotten to hear a ton of it now from all of these trailers and specifically this newest one. And it just feels like they're hitting the perfect notes uh, in these trailers and in, in these tracks for the game that they're trying to make. It's, it's really well done. One of the other big things that we saw in this overview trailer is battles against alpha Pokemon, the Pokemon with the red glowing eyes. They're very angry. For some reason, it has a story connection to Arceus and what's going on with it and why it is enraged about something that's happening in the Hisui region. We got to see these battles. And one of the things that I pointed out just before is the seamless transition between the overworld and just you running around in it and these eventual battles. It exists in these boss battles too. And one of the interesting design elements is that it appears a lot of them are gonna be in more enclosed locations. When you're fighting Cleavor, you're in a little bit of a sump with a big tree in the middle and you have this entire space to fight Cleavor. Not only are you fighting Cleavor and some of these alpha Pokemon with your, with your team, but they're also attacking the trainer itself, the trainer him or herself. You can get hurt in these games. And one of the interesting gameplay mechanics that we saw from this overview trailer is that it appears that you're going to have a split second amount of time to make a decision. You can see when the Pokemon, it, it became really apparent with Snorlax in this trailer, where this Pokemon is about to charge you. This Pokemon's about to come at you. And at this point in the, tr in the, in the, the footage that we saw, the trainer didn't send out a Pokemon, it was just the trainer character. You have an, a, a split second decision of what you're gonna do here. You can jump to get out of the way, you can roll out of the way. You can probably send out a Pokemon in this moment, but there's a piece to battles where you're gonna have that little point in time where you have to make the call. How are you going to approach this battle? How are you gonna approach this fight? And it adds a lot of thoughtfulness to the whole experience. And I think that's one of the things that we really saw in this trailer. One of the other interesting things that we got to see in this trailer is just how the Pokemon exist in the world. There were a couple shots of some of the starters, actually Turtwig, the original Sinnoh starters. Turtwig's just running around the overworld. Chimchar kind of crawling around on the top of a hill. The Pokemon are just so polished compared to what we originally saw in the first Legends Arceus trailer. I remember one of the comments that a lot of people made in that trailer was that the Pokemon were running at like three frames per second. The Chingling, the famous Chingling. The Pokemon look incredible. They look great. They look so fully immersed in the world. There are still some concerns, as we've seen from the entire trailer, as to how full this world will be. If we have one town and the rest of it's just nature and Pokemon, how is that going to play out? Are there going to be more human settlements for us to explore points of interest, if you will? Are we going to be able to mark on our map on our own different areas that we think are important? Or is the map just going to have markers already for areas that are of import to the trainer? How are we going to see the whole map? Some of the things that open world games struggle with is giving the player character too much at one time. Breath of the Wild, to go back to it again, did it really well that you unlocked smaller sections of the map as you wanted to and you could go back and forth and you could venture into areas that you hadn't unlocked the map apps access to so they did a really good job with that how is legends going to handle that something we haven't seen yet another thing that we saw done really well in this trailer are the ui the ui looks clean it looks simple your transition when you catch a pokemon another thing the big word of this video seamless transition it doesn't appear that you go to a loading screen when you catch a pokemon it registers right on the screen and then it goes off to the side and you can go look at that stuff after you've captured the pokemon there seems to be some interesting mechanics at play with when you simply throw a pokeball to try to catch it a la you know a let's go style or when you enter into a battle maybe it has to do with the strength of the pokemon maybe it just has to do with 
if you, the player character, understand catch rates, if you see a Bidoof that you think, there's a pretty high chance I can just throw a Pokeball and catch it, you don't have to engage in a battle. A lot of that seems to be trainer decided, which I really like. Giving us more choice is a good thing. The other thing that was really interesting in this trailer is the ability for a Pokemon to fly away or run away from you. There was a point where you're running up to a Starly and the Starly uh, was notified and flew off. Are there uh, overworld shinies in this game? And if there are, if you see an overworld shiny, do you have to deal with the possibility that that Pokemon is going to flee from you and you're not going to be able to find it again? That's going to add another wrinkle for shiny hunting, which I think is going to be a part of this game, I hope. And that's going to be really fun for trainers as well. There's just so much good in these trailers. And one of the things that I have to commend the Pokemon company for, or at least I think, I think I'm commending them on, is that we don't know a lot about the story. Now, I hope there is a story and it's just something they're not telling us. That's my assumption and that's what I'm decently confident in. There is always the possibility that the story is just this light and we, <laughs> we do know the bulk of it. I hope that's not the case. If it's not the case, they've done a really good job of showing us all we need to know before going into it. So what do you guys think? What did you think of the overview trailer? Are you excited for Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is coming out in just a couple weeks? Are you more or less excited than you were in the past? I would love to know what you guys think down below. And as I mentioned before, if you enjoyed this Legends Arceus video and you wanna see more like it in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload, and leave a like on the video if you wanna see more analysis videos like this one. I've been Linky, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.